hot up aquarius okay aqua so baby it looks like uh, i'm gonna have to go ahead and caution you in regards to this person who you're dealing with love okay this person is like somebody who just don't want you to be thinking or have any type of trust issues or concern or fear or doubt when it comes to stepping right off of this cliff and falling right into their bed or falling right into their arms or falling right into your feelings or falling right in love with them, Aqua. Now, I can see you have on your bra and your panties, maybe with a little G-string up the booty here, okay? Now, that tells me that this person... uh First of all, has you around them like that? You could be at a beach with somebody or you could be walking around your house with somebody like this. This is also telling me that this person wouldn't mind seeing you booted but naked walking around the house, Aqua, okay? They want you, like I said, to pack up any type of concern that you have about them being with you, okay? They saying take this step and fall, Aqua. Now, I have to give you a warning here, Aquarius, because the drop is about 100, 150 feet, baby, okay? Yeah. So they promised they're going to catch you at the bottom here, Aqua, but even if they did catch you, you would still be hurt from that fall. You would still be out of your element from that fall because you would be a fool for somebody else. You wouldn't be using your own intellect. You wouldn't be usually using your own mind. You wouldn't be ruling your own self. This person will be ruling you, okay? I see you got the, the dog and the birds here cautioning you against taking that leap. Taking and telling you that if you take one more step, Aquarius, you are going to fall here. So we got the birds here with the sacred destiny cards. Uh, saying patience. They are saying patience to you up here, okay? They are telling you do not take the leap. Do not fall, okay? Learn some more about this person. Uh, test their spirit. Test their soul. Where is their mind at? You know what I'm saying? Who is this person you're dealing with, baby? Now, here we got the Ace of Wands, okay? So this is who you're dealing with. Uh, somebody here who uh, has a wand that is completely on fire, this is a magic stick for real baby it's gonna hit any type of spot that's going to get you multi-orgasmic okay this wand right here has ruined many aqua take a look baby you see all these scale all these uh skeletons down here with one conquest up at the top so before this person came to you they conquested and ruined somebody else with this wand here Baby, do not proceed. They want you to be flexible. I see the tiger here, which is a feline, which represents the kitty, but it could be the wand as well. It could be the booty, the booty for both the male and the female, okay? This person wants you to be flexible. Be flexible. Don't you sit there in your feelings and, and think that this person, uh, you know, will not do you real good with this wand here, baby. But I can see we got the high priestess. That's you, Aqua. You are the high priestess or your higher self or your female ancestors are talking to you. Your cousins, your aunts, your great, 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 great grandmother, okay, is telling you uh, that you already know that this person is only after the delight of the kitty, the booty, and the wand, okay? You already know that. You already know that, Aquarius, so uh, they're saying to you, the universe, your deities, uh, your ancestors are saying to you that uh, do not take the step. As a matter of fact, the high priestess has went ahead and put a little robe on, put her crown on her head and sat on her throne instead of taking the leap off the daggone cliff. So, Aqua, you ain't taking no leap off no cliff to this person. Now, who is it that we're talking about here, baby? First of all, it's an air sign.
like you. Or this could be just you stepping on the scene. Aquarius or a Libra or a Gemini. This person, like I said, they want to be the one in control of your thoughts. They want to be the one in control of what it is that you do, okay? Here's a Libra here. They're telling you that they're going to be balanced with you. It's going to be an equal give and take, but you're going to have to listen to them. You're going to have to do exactly as they say. You're going to have to submit and be obedient. Now, here's the uh, Pisces here, okay? Pisces want you to come in their world. They want you to be in their world with this wand that they're going to be lighting your behind up with. Lighting your daggone uh, kitty up, your booty, everything. And they, the wand could be somebody performing oral sex on the wand and making you feel like it's on fire. Here is the water sign here. Double confirmation of a... Uh, 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 Pisces, and there's also a double confirmation of a Libra, but you got a Cap um, Cancer uh, Scorpio as well. Then you got Saturn hair, baby. Now, the Saturn card is telling me that this may be a karmic relationship. You know, this may just be a karmic lesson as to not let somebody get you in your panties and bra or booty butt naked again, Aqua. You know what they're doing to your body and they just touching and smacking all over that butt. Got their tongue all up in between your legs, Aquarius. Look how beautiful you are. Look how sexy you are. This person is all over you. Like I said, another Aquarius or a confirmation of Aquarius and Capricorn, okay? Last card, we got Venus, the god and goddess of love. This person is trying to woo you with love, okay? They're trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, they have a fixation on your booty, baby, okay? Now, the cards I'm using here are the uh, erotic fantasy cards, okay? There's a new tarot deck I have for you, Aqua. But to come, um, clarify them, I got the uh, Casanova Tarot, all right? Get you about three shuffles, and we're going to get some more, uh, you know, into this reading. Okay, Aquarius. This is your Lover's Den reading for the month of May 2021. Uh, it's for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. And I am the Cosmic Divine Tarot. All right, my darling, let's get some more confirmation on this or clarification with this Ace of uh, Wands here. Because I said this person has ruined many people with that wand, baby. Okay, yeah, it's completely on fire. It will melt. It will melt you inside. <laughs> now, let's see, baby. Here we got the uh, Seven of Swords. So, this person sitting up here planning and plotting to do something with that uh, wand that's going to be like backstabbing, that's going to be like, you know, malicious. This person is not somebody to be trusted. The Seven of Swords is somebody just trying to take something from you. So it could be while this person is, you know, inviting you out to eat dinner with them. You got the Seven of Swords here. This person is trying to, you know, just woo you so that they can just go ahead and give you the wand, baby. Here's the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to spend some money on you. They're going to spend a whole bunch of money on you, okay? They're going to woo you like crazy, take you out all over the daggone place. They're going to make all types of effort. We got the Ten of Pentacles. They're going to be kissing you on your hand. Look, you all shy here. You all beautiful. But they want to get them clothes off here, baby. They want to get them clothes off while they're looking at you on this table. Look like they're looking down in your breasts instead. Okay? Looks like they're looking down on your breasts while you're at the table here. So they ain't even paying any attention to what you're saying at the table, baby. They're just looking at the boobies. Now, let's go ahead and get the um, the full here. What are the messages we have for the full? Look, out in the cold, five of that going, uh, pentacles, aqua. Now, you see he got the blinders on. I said they don't want you to, uh, you know, have any doubt, any trust issues, any type of concern. Okay? But like I said, baby, you're going to fall. And you're going to fall out of your element if you take one more step towards this individual. Okay? This individual is going to leave you destitute. You're going to be outside begging people for, like, uh, money and stuff like that. They're going to hurt the living mess out of you. This is how you're going to look at the bottom of that fall. Okay? All messed up. You're going to lose legs. You're going to lose limbs, baby. Okay? That tells me that this person may not be safe to even have sex with if you may lose limbs dealing with them. 
What type of anything that they have for you to lose a limb? I don't like it, Aqua. Tell me more. Okay. We got the hermit right here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. This person is somebody in complete and utter darkness. They need the star. That's you, Aqua. They need you to show them the way. They need to take that light from you, as a matter of fact. They try to take that light from you and leave you in some type of, uh, you know, destitute place where you don't have nothing for yourself, where you don't have uh, your own light. They're trying to dim your light, leave you in darkness while they take the light. Oh, but that high priestess is not about to do that. That high priestess is not about to do that, baby. Let's go. What other messages that we have for Aqua? Okay. Here we got the daggone, uh, this is the, uh, somebody looking at you with a mask on. They got a mask on, or you're looking at them. That's what it looks like. We got the judgment here. The judgment. You're, this person, you know, they're trying to get you to get your clothes off. Aqua, they love the booty, baby. Yeah. They love the booty, love the breast. They're just trying to get you with your clothes off. But, you know, you they're looking at you with some type of mask on. I thought this was you looking at them, but it looks like they're looking at you, okay? Looking at you with some type of mask on, casting some type of judgment towards you that maybe, uh, you know, or maybe they're just not showing themselves. Maybe they're not showing themselves, so therefore you have to use your high priestess to go ahead and uh, see what the heck this person really want, baby. <laughs> and that is the daggone nine of chalices, baby. Yeah, they want your lips all over the wand, Aqua. Yeah, they want your lips all over the wand, the kitty, the booty. Yeah, that's what they want. They want you to give them complete and utter satisfaction. Physical satisfaction. That's what they see you as. A physical satisfaction. Somebody who will give them so much joy and, and uh, you know, just satisfy their lustful desires. Okay? Now we got the daggone uh, love oracle cards here. What we got for you? We got exclusive. Yeah, this person wants to be exclusive with you. They want to be commitment. This is marriage material. You know, they want you to be their life partner. They don't want you dating other people, Aqua. Relational abuse. However, like I said, baby, when I first started this thing out, notice that the red flags are warning, cautioning you. That may be emotional, physical, sexual, financial in nature. Say, so ask for help in the situation, okay? So if you're dealing with somebody who's being abusive to you, ask for help. Mr. or Miss Fix It. Don't try to fix others. Heal yourself instead, Aqua. Don't be people pleasing. You know, don't be people pleasing even though this person wants you to go ahead and press and trust the process, okay? But here we got a uh, missed opportunity. Hmm. Well, it could be saying that this is somebody who had a missed opportunity with you that regrets that. They regret having a missed opportunity with you because the communication was imperative. You know what I'm saying? So they risk lo losing you in the past, but it looks like this must be somebody coming back, baby. However, there's a pattern with this person, Aqua. Okay? Be aware of the patterns with this person. You know what doesn't work with this person. You know, this person wants you to go ahead and change your whole thing. You ain't going to go ahead and change your whole thing, Aqua. Now, let me get you one of these, baby, so we can end this bad boy. This is the uh, Psychic Tarot, okay? You got, or I pulled you the uh, Crown Chakra, Aqua. It's the Crown Chakra, okay? Now, the Crown Chakra says here, love, it says, uh, to balance this chakra, I find that meditation, breathe, work, uh, yoga, spiritual healing, acupuncture, and color therapy work best. When properly aligned, your crown chakra will expand to a point where it's possible to access and tap into the deepest sources of wisdom. Okay? So you are very much more wise than you used to be, Aquarius. You are very much in tune and uh, in line with the crown chakra. You are very much in your element and that's why this person wants to bring you out of your element because they are jealous of it they're jealous of you they're jealous of what it is that you're doing here they're jealous of your light they want you to fall and hurt yourself 
and they are only interested in having sex with you. So it may be, well, no, they're not only interested in having sex with you. They also want your light, baby. Okay. They also want your light and they also want to hurt you. Mm. So this is not a good person to be around Aquarius. This is not a good person to, to have around you. Okay. Now, uh, if it's just all about the sex and you just want to go ahead and have a good time with this person, of course, then uh, I still caution you not to fall. Not to fall, Aqua. Don't fall off the cliff. Let this person rise up to where you are to have some type of fun. Don't fall down to their level, baby. And how could you with the crown chakra activated here? The crown chakra activated here ain't going to have you falling no damn where, Aqua. Okay, my darling. Well, this has been your reading. If it resonated with you, then hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know I will be uploading new messages for you, Aquarius. And if this ain't your message, then hey, don't worry about that. I'm just going to get you next time, baby. Okay? Now, Aquarius, if you need a personal reading, the link to my cash app and my PayPal is in the description box below. And I certainly will appreciate your donations, love. Okay? Alright, Aqua, until next time, peace, love, and light. Hotel, love.